that respect, it does help the Democrats. Well, Mark, uh, I what mean, do you disagree with? Why okay. could they, how could they support this absolute All right, so use of the nonsense. word, I, I concur and stipulate, use of the word rapist is ridiculous and, 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 and However, and they all bring drugs? I mean, come on, the Mexican well, however, Americans but, are some of the but hardest a lot working of them, people in the United States. The basic thrust of this, the basic thrust of this, and you should agree with this, if you contrast what's going on in immigration now with what went on 100 years ago, 100 years ago, the U.S. was insistent on quality in immigration. We're not doing that now. We are taking every Tom, Dick, and Harry, and, and there is a big point to that in immigration policy. Jack, you're Don't trying you to agree? whitewash what, what Trump said. You're trying to make it this, a completely different thing. What he said was Mexico is sending us their drug dealers and their rapists, and maybe he assumes some of them are good people. He also attacked people in South America, Central America. He did a but vicious racist attack you have on virtually to, every Latino in America. I don't see it as racist. I see it as use of uh, unduly inflammatory language. But the basic point, Mark, here's what I want to press. You must agree with this. Mexico is not sending their best. That's Mexico isn't point. sending them. Mexico is a corrupt and often dangerous country. But the Mexican people that come here are just trying to live the American dream like anyone else and escape but that But that's another issue. Country. Of course they want to move up. Of course that's true. But the point is, shouldn't we insist on quality in immigration in terms of people coming into I'm this country? I'm telling you, they're quality. The people that come oh, here come work on, Mark, very nah, hard. You're, you you're can't find no, harder working in Mexico than Mexican have Americans. Kanye and the Kardashians. The Politico's got, got Donald Trump. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Meanwhile, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie says he's all in for 2016, and he doesn't plan to sugarcoat anything. I am not running for president of the United States as a surrogate for being elected prom king of America. I am not looking to be the most popular guy who looks in your eyes every day and tries to figure out what you want to hear, say it, and then turn around and do something else. When I stand up on a stage like this in front of all of you, there is one thing you will know for sure. I mean what I say, and I say what I mean, and that's what America needs right now. Let Christie and Don Trump deal with Vladimir Putin. That's all I got to say. Now, Christie's announcement makes 14 Republican candidates, and two more governors are waiting in the wings. If the number reaches 16, it will be the largest pool in 100 years. Jack, what's going on with your party? Is well, it possible to have a front runner at this point? No. Remember what I said, Morris. I predicted about, about six months ago, I said if the number reaches 20, if the number reaches 20, it could reach 40. The dynamics of this race on the Republican side may well be in their infancy. We don't know who else could announce. We don't know what else is going to happen. Christie has the same challenge that a Marco Rubio has, that a Jeb Bush has, and that a Donald Trump has. They've all got to move to the right to survive those early primaries. Christie's undefined. We know very little about his social views. We're going to learn more. I, I love that kind of speech. I think that appeals to many Republicans. It'll play particularly well in a place like New Hampshire, but he remains very undefined. Jeb Bush took a major step by releasing 33 years of financial records. Bush says he paid more to the IRS than Hillary Clinton despite earning less. Mark, could Jeb's transparency damage Hillary's I'm just like you tactic? Not really. If you look at one of the reasons why Clinton paid a sm slightly smaller tax percentage is because she gave, and Bill, gave $10 million to charity, and uh, Bush gave less than a million dollars to charity, so that means he has a, a, a higher tax rate, because when you give a lot to charity, you have a lower tax rate. That's really the only difference here. I do want to say real quick about uh, Jack saying that the Re Republicans are moving to the right. Chris Christie's operative word was mean. There's a reason he used it. It's just interesting to me that when Jack says moving to right, I say it's mean and racist. Which one do you you want either way it's moving to the right well i don't see it i don't know what's right i think chris christie i think he's enormously progressive no, trump is racist. Issues. i don't mean. know I, uh, trump i chris think christie's he, mean trump i think used used bad trump i just think used bad language one of the things i kind of agree with mark on the on the clinton sure they gave more money that's a good tax analysis i think he's right on the money but the, the issue is not taxes morris the clintons are going to be dogged with this foundation and the money you see the big washington post story a few days ago it's a good foundation chelsea it does clinton, charitable things even chelsea clinton is receiving sixty five thousand dollars for a speech, the Clintons are going to have to account for a lot of these kinds of things. How You've much never did Jeb Bush get for a speech? I, I, know, know, a lot more I, than think, I think you're right. I think the foundation may turn out to be like an iceberg. There's a lot underwater that yes. we haven't seen yet. Now, back to the Democratic side. Former Virginia Senator Jim Webb has announced he's running, bringing the official tally up to five. Mark, is this a sign that some Democrats are losing faith in Hillary? No. Jim Webb has no chance. And I say this as a Virginian who voted for Jim Webb. Frankly, once he said what he said about the Confederate flag, I think he put the nail in his own political coffin. Now, Jim Webb is no threat to, to Hillary Clinton. What do you think, Jack? No, I agree with that. I, I, it, it looks like I don't see anyone who could come up with them.